Let's take a look at building a probability model from a uh, frequency uh, distribution. Um, here's a, a category over here and here's our frequency. Well first thing we need to do is add together these frequencies. So I'll click down below here and I can uh, choose my, my um, function. Um, there it is, sum function. And um, this is uh, going to add these together. So I need to say from B2 to B5. I can type B2 colon B5. Or I can simply click in the first cell and hold down my left mouse button and drag. And now it'll say B2 to B5. Gives us 52. Now over in this column, This is going to be our probability. I can click here and uh, paint format and copy it over there. Not that it matters. Now um, I want to do an equals and I want to have B2 divided by this, this one down here. Now that's B6, but. Um, let me put B6 there, and then times 100. Now this is put it in percent form. If you just want it in a straight probability form, um, then you'd leave it in decimal. Now I'm going to click this uh, cell here and click the uh, bottom right hand corner here that's a square. And when it becomes a black plus, I click and hold down and drag it down. Now we get an error. And let's examine why, because it's important when working with formulas that you understand that. Um, this one right here, B2 divided by B6 times 100. Perfect. Let me do escape to get out of that. I'll click this one. This one is B3, which is correct, divided by B7. We don't want that to be B7. We want that to be B6. So when I uh, filled this down and it changed the rows, it shifted the B6 to B7, B8, and B9 here. And that's where my issue is. So I'll press escape. And how we get around this is if I come back up to this formula, around the B6, I want to put dollar signs around in front of the B and dollar sign in front of the 6. So that's what our formula should look like. That has to do with absolute referencing. When you put dollar signs there, it's, it's always going to point to B6, no matter how much you fill it down dogs are killing each other. <laughs> They're playing. I'm going to fill that down. And now, if I were to look at these um, formulas, you see that each one of these says B6. And that would be my, my uh, probability model. And like I said, if I didn't want it in percent form, I would get rid of the times 100 here and then fill that down. Technically a probability models in uh, decimal form, not percent, uh, but percent is usually what we're um, more used to seeing and working with. But that's how to build a probability model in um, Google Sheets.